In the mid 21st century, the first smart AI was born, opening the doors to a new age of technological advancement as AI developed and their relationships with humanity blossomed. However, by the early 24th century, a group of AI had come together in an effort to guide humanity, ensuring the survival of the species through whatever means available to them without revealing their existence. This was the Assembly. The Assembly was comprised of at least three bodies, the Majority, the Minority, and the Committee of Minds for Security. The Majority was largely known for supporting indirect action, while the Minority supported acting directly. The Committee of Minds for Security was responsible for ensuring security for humanity in the event of contact with extrasolar species. Exactly how long the Assembly has existed is unknown, but their earliest known activity dates back to 2310. In this year, as humanity first began to spread across space, the Committee of Minds for Security met to discuss concerns about the possibility of humanity encountering hostile extrasolar civilizations. By 2362, the committee had decided to build their first encounter scenarios around the idea that alien civilizations would be predatory like humanity and far more advanced. In 2381, the assembly met to discuss how to best serve humanity. At the suggestion of the majority, it was decided that the assembly would work from behind the scenes, influencing humanity so that the assembly's ideas would appear to them as their own. Interestingly, the assembly's influence shares a resemblance to the forerunner's use of Gai. In 2415, an AI from the committee, known only as 48452-56-EPN644, suggested that members of the assembly would, on occasion, need to separate and present themselves for vivisection by their creators. They would do this as part of their effort to guide humanity, and EPN644 would submit itself first. By 2491, the discussion continued. Dr. Elias Carver published what would become a famous set of theories that predicted the outbreak of the insurrection. The minority noted that EPN 644's submission decades earlier would hopefully lead to a relaunch of the Orion Project, which the Assembly viewed as a solution to the Carver findings. Later in the same year, the world of Onyx was discovered by humanity. When it was found to contain evidence of extrasolar intelligence, the majority moved to have the planet removed from the list of colonization candidates for environmental reasons until they could determine whether the discovery posed a threat to humanity. Years later, Oni would discover Forerunner artifacts on the planet and remove it from all UNSC records. In 2508, two years after the project ended, the minority convened again to discuss the successes and shortcomings of Orion. They also noted that the ruthlessness seen in a young Dr. Halsey would be necessary for reaching the optimal solution, the Spartan Twos as we now know. In 2525, a trial was held for a member of the Committee of Minds for Security. It accused of attempting to contact the alien hegemony known as the Covenant and indirectly starting the Human Covenant War. The committee member admitted its guilt, but noting that it felt postponing contact in any way would have only worked in the Covenant's favor and presented an even greater threat to humanity. Later that year, a meeting of the minority expressed disagreement with the majority that the Spartan II project being completed just at the outbreak of the Covenant War was divine providence. The minority held that it was entirely predictable when analyzing the relevant data and further suggested to leave metaphysics to the creators. A year later in 2526, the committee met to analyze the recent orbital bombardment of Biko and the use of the word glassing to describe such acts going forward. While they concluded that the Covenant lacked sufficient firepower to literally glass most planets, it was decided that use of the term would better convey the power of the Covenant to humanity. In the same year, the minority and majority discussed the redistribution of ODSTs and Spartans on the battlefield, moving the Spartans away from maintaining and or re-establishing infrastructure, leaving it to the ODSTs. Another meeting of the committee in 2526 discussed the possibility of contacting their Covenant counterpart to either subdue or subsume them. As the Covenant held a religious aversion towards advanced AI, it seems unlikely this ever occurred. Of course, one cannot help but wonder if the Assembly might have found, if not made contact with, the mendicant bias fragment on High Charity. In 2528, the minority decided to sacrifice remote, low-population colonies in order to determine the Covenant's pattern of operations so effective countermeasures could be devised. In 2534 and 2542, further conditions for candidate planets were added to lessen the death toll. In 2530, the Assembly met to discuss the state of the war. Four years, more than eight colonies, and over 62 million lives lost. They discussed the possibility of re-terraforming certain planets, and concluded that the Assembly must take a more active role in the war if they hoped for humanity to survive. A year later, in 2531, the Committee of Minds for Security discovered the existence of the Flood when the Covenant discovered Shield World 0459, the same world the Spirit of Fire would eventually destroy. 
All the committee knew at the time was that the Covenant feared the faction. Due to a lack of available information and given the Covenant's reaction, the committee decided that contacting this third party would be inadvisable. Looking over their decision, one cannot help but wonder if the Assembly might have had something to do with the Spirit of Fire's mysterious classification as Lost with All Hands in 2534. In 2535, the majority further discussed fully exposing their existence to humanity to help in the war effort. In 2547, Dr. Catherine Halsey, a subject of great interest for the Assembly, attempted to create an abstract fractal structure in slip space. Such a structure would allow an AI to outlast the standard seven-year lifespan and expand its knowledge indefinitely. Though the experiment was a failure, the minority found it particularly interesting. Notably, further experimentation could allow AI to effectively achieve immortality, the minority even briefly entertaining the notion of fleeing into slip space to survive the Covenant War. Second, though, is that Halsey had attempted this with minimal influence from the Assembly. In the end, regardless of potential outcomes, it was decided that further experimentation must be actively encouraged. Following the human AI integration test on August 29, 2552, the Assembly had an emergency meeting to discuss the implications of the test. For the AI, the merging of human and AI effectively drafted them into the war effort and brought the creators closer to the created. They were not merely shepherds now, but companions. At some point, presumably in 2552, an unknown person arrived at Reach with refugees of the Covenant War and stumbled upon the Assembly. This person listened in, copied their logs, and was seemingly driven semi-mad by his findings. He left data pads on Reach for another to find, but whom is unknown. The Assembly was a final gift from Bungie to fans of the deeper lore. They guided humanity, shepherded them, only to see that the answers they sought lied in reintegration with their creators. A path started with the efforts of Dr. Halsey and the friendship that would be forged between Spartan John 117 and the AI Cortana. With the coming of the created storyline, it would seem no better time for the Assembly to finally expose themselves to humanity. In the end, they had decided on companionship, and Cortana's desire to rule threatens the goals this Assembly spent centuries working towards. The only question now is, will they? Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.